And something you see in every scary movie. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant has sent in workers to examine compartments beneath the reactor cores for the first time since the accident. They found radiation levels in the suppression chambers are too high for humans to continue inspections. The situation is not stable at all. Tokyo Electric Power Company sent six workers into the basements of the number two and number three reactor buildings. Crews opened the door to the suppression chamber at number two. They detected radiation of up to 160 millisieverts per hour. Workers could not open the door to the chamber at number three. It had been mangled. Readings outside the door were up to 75 millisieverts per hour. The maximum level of radiation exposure allowed for emergency workers in Japan is 250 millisieverts. Based on our latest findings, we have to think about using robots to take a look inside and to continue inspections. Workers must pinpoint and repair damage to the suppression chambers and the containment vessels before decommissioning the plant's disabled reactors. When the mainstream press and the government says nobody could have predicted this, they're lying through their fucking teeth. The world's nuclear watchdog says it's concerned about the safety of aging nuclear power plants after a recent report revealed that most are over 20 years old. I have a very low tolerance level for stupid bullshit. That's all. Stupid bullshit. The International Atomic Energy Agency sent a draft of its annual report to member countries. The final report will be made public at its General Assembly in September. The draft says that of the world's 435 nuclear facilities, 80% were more than two decades old at the end of last year. It says 43% are 20 to 29 years old. 32% are 30 to 39 years old, and 5% are older than 40 years. When the mainstream press and the government says nobody could have predicted this, they're lying through their fucking teeth. But the head of the IAEA said there was no cause for alarm. That don't make no sense. Nuclear power should remain a major energy resource as long as the safety of facilities is strictly monitored. The agency wants cooperation from member countries to examine their nuclear plants in a bid to reinforce safety standards. <laughs> All right, folks, here we go. We got the top eight answers on the board. When people talk about the big one, what might they be referring to? Breaking news for you, a magnitude 6.8 earthquake has occurred off the coast of Sandiku in northeastern Japan at 6.09 p.m. Japan time. That's about an hour ago. And the meteorological agency has issued a tsunami advisory for waves of up to 50 centimeters. The tsunami is likely to have arrived at around 6.40 p.m. Japan time at the earliest. Japan's Nuclear Safety Commission is expected to soon release its review of stress tests for halted nuclear reactors. The reactors have been shut down for inspections. The tests are a prerequisite for restarting them. Government officials say they'll decide whether to turn them back on based on the results of the commission's examinations. Until he hit upon a brilliant advertising strategy. The truth. Commission members have been examining the test results on the number three and four reactors at the OE nuclear plant in central Japan. The operator, Kansai Electric Power Company, conducted the stress tests. Regulators at the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency approved the results last month. Paramount Pictures presents The Freak. This movie won't just scare you, it will fuck you up for life. The Nuclear Safety Commission held its final meeting on Tuesday to discuss the OE reactors. Chairman Haruki Madarame said, members wrapped up their discussions with outside experts and will draw up their conclusions soon. Last month, Commission members said the results of the tests alone are not sufficient to assess the safety of the reactors.
Jaguar for men who'd like hand jobs from beautiful women that you hardly know. Japan has held an event in Brussels to restore confidence in the safety of Japanese food after last year's nuclear accident in Fukushima. Let's not lie, Steve. Let's level with America. We can't level, you crazy asshole. We're in advertising. The Japanese embassy in Belgium organized the event attended by several hundred people on Tuesday. The participants observed a minute of silence for the victims of the March 11th disaster. Japanese Ambassador Jun Yokota expressed gratitude for Europe's support. He called on the European Union to ease the food import curbs it introduced after the nuclear accident. He said Japan conducts strict safety checks. Sushi and other Japanese foods as well as sake from Fukushima Prefecture were served. I hope everything will go back to normal very soon and to share everything with Japan, we are very glad. I think that Japan has still a way to go, but I'm very confident that Japanese people have the power and the strength to go on this very good road. And everyone wants to tell you their stupid bullshit. And a lot of them don't know when to stop talking. You ever run into that guy?